It's Ultra City 6060. Yes, that sounds very serious, Colonel. Yes, I understand, Colonel. I'll announce it immediately. You have a message for me, Daichiki? Yes, Major. Bad news. It seems our animation budget has been seriously depleted by excessive robot battles. To correct for it, we've been given strict orders to eliminate all lip-syncing from the remainder of this movie. But how? We'll just have to make do. Is this true? No lip-sync at all? That seems ridiculous. We'll look like idiots on the screen. I've got to talk to the commander. Is it true about the lip-sync, Colonel? I'm afraid it is. The movie will just have to go on without mouth. We have our orders. There's no other option. Nobody look at the camera. Nobody look at the camera. Well, you know how it is. You have a beer, you have another beer, and, you know, maybe listen to some music, and, you know, that's cool. And when there's a party, I go... And at the party, there's a bunch of people dancing around and, you know, having a good time. And someone, wearing a fez, recognizes you and says, Hey, it's you. Yeah, you too, I say. And then we drink some booze or wine or whatever and have an easygoing conversation. After that, somebody does a twig or um, some sort of performance. Then the Fez man says, to pull your finger. No, really. Just just pull my finger, okay? Oh, I don't want to pull your finger. Oh, oh, just, just pull my finger. I don't want to pull your finger. Just pull my finger. I don't want to pull Come your on, finger. Come on, just pull my finger. Okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Nothing happened. We'll pull it again. I am pulling it. We'll pull it harder. I'm pulling it harder. We'll pull it. I'm pulling. Pull my finger. I'm pulling. Pull, pull my pull, finger. I'm pulling. Pull my finger, pulling. man. Pull my finger. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fabulous. Welcome to Knock Your Brains Out. Let's meet our contestants. First, from Mind Dance Long Island, we have Tara. Tara enjoys simulating actual events that may have happened in real life and extreme clamming. Are you ready to win lots of money, Tara? <laughs> hey, loosen up, Tara. All right. Now, let's meet our returning champion. He's the common vegetable with uncommon intelligence. And scientists say he has an IQ of 10? But can he cut it here in the human world? Meet Broccoli. I am Broccoli. Okay, gang, let's get it on! First question, who did... Uh, broccoli? Broccoli! 
What the frig? No, I'm sorry. What? The correct answer is high tech polymers. Ah. Next question What's better for clemming? High tide or low tide? Broccoli. No, wrong answer. Fool, you dare defy broccoli. Of course I am right. You're wrong, bastard. Okay. Where'd you get your game show license? Well, Cracker Jack well it's time for the final round. Contestants, you have 10 seconds to write down the correct answer to this question. What northeastern state is colorfully referred to as New York's armpit? Wrong. You're wrong. Okay, time's up. Let's see your answers. New Jersey is correct. We have a new winner. Preposterous fool! I'll destroy you and your kind. I'm never wrong. How could I be wrong? <laughs> Security. I'm Security. Most intelligent vegetable! I have an IQ 10! 10, damn it! Of course I was right! Broccoli! 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 I'll destroy you all! After the apocalypse, I'll rule this world! I'll enslave your mind! You cannot stop me! I'm too smart! Broccoli! People the world over know what a penguin is, and people the world over know exactly what they look like. Unless, of course, these people are stupid. To people around the globe, penguins are considered almost human, especially in the way they walk. Although, if you put one behind the wheel of a Volkswagen, it'll most likely resemble a dead bird after only minutes on the highway. The penguin's sense of navigation on public freeways is absolutely atrocious. For some reason, people have always found black and white patterned animals interesting. The panda, and more recently, the killer whale, has captured the hearts and limbs of millions. Penguins are believed to have evolved from some form of flying bird into their more advanced, though somewhat sillier looking state today. <coughs> the first penguin fossil was found in the dirt. It was found in the late 1800s and most of these extinct penguins are believed to be dead. The largest penguin is the emperor penguin, which stands over 90 feet tall and weighs up to three metric tons. By contrast, the smallest penguin, the fairy penguin, is gay. The penguin is an odd bird in that it can't fly. It makes up for this in its ability to swim and knits what is referred to as toasty warm. The penguin is the most aquatic of all birds, spending perhaps 75% of their lives in the water and 25% drying off. They're excellent swimmers when they're in the water and can open their eyes underwater without the aid of a diving mask. Penguins snatch short breaths of air when leaping out of the water like a porpoise. This action is known as showing off. It must be remembered that the penguin's great underwater abilities would hardly do it any good if it had to fly from tree to tree to avoid a cat. This poses little threat to the penguin, as most alley cats die within minutes of exposure to the Antarctic cold. Since the penguin has so very few land predators, they are pretty much fearless and quite curious about humans. They will walk right up to a person, laugh in his face, and walk away. Penguins live together in large colonies, called, oddly enough, large colonies. They hang around together in groups of literally millions because, as we all know, the penguin thinks he's real tough in a group, but as soon as you get him off by himself, he'll start to whine immediately. <laughs> Penguins usually lay only one or two eggs, rarely three. In fact, six is even rarer. Twelve would be a preposterous amount of eggs for a penguin to lay, which is why they only lay one or two. Penguins are a warm-blooded creature that survives very comfortably in temperatures as cold as 80 below zero. It must be noted, however, that even the penguin must wear a scarf in these temperatures to avoid catching a cold. What do you suppose the penguins think about us? Not a hell of a whole lot, I would guess. A few years ago, I had a job as a dental illustrator. A job I loved because I got to draw teeth. 
One morning, the big boss called a meeting of the entire staff. Well, good morning, staff. I hope you've enjoyed the donuts Carol brought in. I know I have. Now, the dental auxiliary training... Suddenly, as if in a nightmare, I dumped my entire cup of coffee in the boss's lap. <laughs> Fearing I'd lose the best job I ever had, I grabbed a bunch of wet paper towels and hot-tailed it back to the meeting. And then, with only the best intentions, I did one of the dumbest things I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> Markup? What in the devil are you doing? can I stop these horrible quackers? Uh, You've been blowing mud like there's no tomorrow. What's to be done about it? Maybe it's all this soda. Whatever it is, if you don't stop picking the fruit, I'm gonna kill you. Pee you! What a stink! Someone sure served up a ripper! God, that is a horrible stench. I just can't seem to stop producing plays. Well, knock it off or we'll have to cork you. You've been ripping hot ones all afternoon. I wish it was that easy to control my unfortunate rebuttals. Maybe you should quit drinking coffee. It seems I just can't take a step without announcing Mr. Weddy. No kidding. I've never seen a guy move a bubble like you, Hiragani. Or I. Shut up! God, it's foul in here. Is somebody touching cloth? No, it's just Hiragani calling the roll again. Shut up! Or I'll show you all what a real pumper is! There! What do you think of that fanfare? Man! Who released the Heidi Hounds? Now you've set off the smoke detectors. Everyone take cover. Class 5 eruption. Lock W. Ew. Ew. Oh, my God. 
on behalf of your local newspaper. I won't keep you long because I know you're busy. Maybe you're doing housework or maybe you have guests over, so I'll make this as brief as possible. Have you ever thought of subscribing to your local newspaper? Well, if not, then maybe you should think about it. Before you say anything, just let me tell you that if you subscribe to the newspaper right now, you will receive four weeks delivery of the weekend paper absolutely free of charge. That's right, four weeks home delivery and you pay absolutely no money. You might say, I don't believe it. There must be some kind of catch. But I can assure you, there is no catch and there is no gimmick. You will receive absolutely free of charge the weekend paper delivered straight to your door for the next four weeks. But wait, I know what you're thinking. Why should I read the paper when I can simply watch the news on TV? But the weekend newspaper is more than just news. It's the weekend business report. And sports, all the scores you need to know. And the weekend fashion file. An in-depth analysis of world events. Plus, you get the weekly TV listings and the full-color weekend funnies. And that's not all. As a new subscriber, you will also receive this added special bonus, a free gift pack of valuable money-saving coupons, redeemable at participating local retailers. So tell me, to what name and address should I make out this subscription? 